If you had been his competitor, Senator, do you think you could have beaten him? What good does it do now? <laughs> you know, the election is over, and, uh, you know, Hillary, I did my best uh, to see that Hillary Clinton get elected. I was out in uh, some 12 states during the last week with, eight, uh, I think, 21 rallies. Uh, so the election is over, and we've got to look to the future. And what we have got to demand, I think, is that Mr. Trump keep the promises that he made to working families. You'll remember, Wolf, he talked about how he was going to be a champion of working families. Well, I hope he will raise the minimum wage so that people who are working for 9 or 10 bucks an hour get the kind of raise they're entitled to. I hope he will do pay equity for women. Women should not be getting 79 cents on the dollar compared to men. I hope he'll rebuild our crumbling infrastructure, and I look forward to working with him if he chooses to, to do that and create millions of decent paying jobs. And on trade, absolutely we need a new trade policy. I will work with them to get corporate America to start investing in this country, not just in China uh, and in Mexico. Uh, I hope, you know, he told the American people, Wolf, uh, that uh, he didn't have to pay any taxes. He is a multi-billionaire. He doesn't have to pay a nickel in federal taxes because he knows how corrupt the tax system is. Well, if he knows how well that, how corrupt that system is, I hope very much that he'll work with progressives to create a tax system which, in fact, ask billionaires and multinational corporations to start paying their fair share of taxes. Our job is to make sure that the anger that so many people in this country feel, because they are, in fact, working longer hours for low wages, they're worried about their kids. If they're in rural America, they're seeing their downtown stores boarded up, their kids are leaving town because there are no jobs in that community. Inner cities, youth unemployment, astronomically high. People are angry. They have a right to be angry. But we have got to channel that anger against the people who caused the decline of the middle class and so many people living in poverty. Not take it out on our neighbors who may happen to be Muslim or Latino or women. That is demagoguery. And I will do everything that I can to oppose that. Let's deal with the real issues, that the rich are getting richer, that we are moving toward an oligarchic form of society where a handful of billionaires control the economy as a result of Citizens United, control to a significant degree our political system, and may I say, control our media. So there's a lot of work to be done, but let's not take out our frustration against the poor or minorities. They've seen their jobs go to China. Their kids can't afford to go to college. They can't afford childcare. They can't afford if they're living in a city, often can't afford the high cost of rent. They're angry, and they're seeing almost all new income and wealth in this country going to the top 1%. Rich are getting richer, everybody else is getting poorer. That is the reality. But what it would be unacceptable for a president to do is take that anger, that frustration, that hurt, and turn it against the poor, turn it against people of color, or turn it against Muslims. That is demagoguery of the worst kind. And if Trump attempts to do that, I will do everything that I can, along with millions of other people in this country, to say, sorry, that is not what the United States of America is about. If he is serious about reforming our trade policies and creating jobs in America and not in China, let us work with him. Uh, Trump talked about a corrupt campaign finance system. He's a billionaire. He was able to fund a large part of his campaign. Well, you know what? Not every candidate is a billionaire. If Trump is serious about understanding that we have a corrupt campaign finance system where special interests are able to buy politicians, I would hope that Trump will work with us to overturn this disastrous Citizens United Supreme Court decision and move toward a campaign process by which big money and wealthy camp contributors cannot control the political process. If Trump is serious about his concerns about the needs of working people, let's rebuild the infrastructure. He's talked about that. I've talked about it. We can create millions of jobs rebuilding our roads and our bridges and our water systems, airports, our rail system. If he was not just into campaign rhetoric and if he was sincere about it, let's work together. So there are a lot of areas I think we can work together if he was sincere in what he said during the campaign. But if he is going to resort to bigotry, trying to divide us up, we will oppose him uh, tooth and nail.